The relationships between the administration and two of Youngstown's labor unions was a big part of the discussion at tonight's city council meeting. First, council rejected an agreement with the street department union. We'll get to that short story shortly, but the mayor also criticized the firefighters union, saying trust was broken when the union went public yesterday about cuts being made. Cuts, the mayor says, are not a done deal yet. Youngstown Mayor Tito Brown told City Council this evening that the closing of Fire Station 7 at Elm and Madison, along with the elimination of three battalion chiefs, is not a sure thing. Possible changes right there. Those are possible changes. And City Council, as anyone knows, that the only way we make those changes is with your, with your help and your approval. The mayor also talked about yesterday's meeting with the Firefighters Union, after which union leaders announced the station closing and job cuts. Mayor Brown says he started the union management meetings to build trust. We can't have, every time we have a conversation, go into the media and have a conversation happen. If we're going to build relationships, that's got to be built on trust. The trust was broken yesterday. I don't feel that it was fair. Union Secretary Tracy Wright says when they were summoned to yesterday's meeting, they asked for an agenda because there's always been an agenda. And we were told uh, that they were not allowed to provide us. They, the law department, was not, we were not to be informed of what the, uh, what the meeting was going to be about. So we were blindsided by this information. So union leaders didn't see it as a typical union management meeting. They were concerned it was something serious. And they were told the cuts were happening, not that they were possible. That is what we were, we were informed, that there were going to be cuts to the three battalion chiefs and that Station 7 is going to be closed. It is the mayor's decision to close a fire station, but council must approve the elimination of battalion chiefs. Councilman Julius Oliver questioned why council was never told that cuts were even being discussed. So I'm asking moving forward that we engage our citizens and our council people on de decisions, especially decisions as important as closing a fire station.